Hello, my name is Märta Lauritsen. I am a registered nurse and urotherapist. And my name is Helena Tulin. I'm a registered nurse and PhD. And we work together at Karolinska University Hospital in Stockholm, Sweden. Today we will show how we insert indwelling catheters. First of all, it's important that the patient is informed and give his or her consent for the procedure. Secondly, it's important that the patient is relaxed so they can relax the pelvic floor muscle. And to achieve this, we can ask the patient to have the hand of the abdomen and take a deep breath. It's also important that I am comfortable with the procedure. It's something else you think about. Yes, I think of the risk for infection during catheterization. And to avoid this or decrease the risk, we have two principles that we follow and we want you to follow. First is keeping the catheter sterile during all the process. Secondly is to protect the patient from bacteria from ourselves and the environment. To start the procedure, we ask the patient to wash their own genitals if possible. And during that time, we prepare the catheterization. It is important to consider your own hygiene, so make sure you have antiseptics at hand, as well as plastic apron, and that you apply basic hygiene procedures. Start by opening the catheterization kit. First you will find the sterile gloves, but you can put them aside for now. Pour some sodium chloride irrigation solution into the tray. Remove the catheter from its packaging while carefully keeping its sterility and place it on the sterile field. Fill a syringe with sterile water that you will use to fill the catheter balloon with at a later stage. Only now put on the sterile gloves. Remove the EVA bag and place the catheter into the tray. Prepare the anesthetic catheter gel syringe. It is important to follow the producer's instructions. The BIP Foley catheter should be pre-wetted to activate the hydrophilic coating. You can use sterile water or some of the sodium chloride for this as long as you use cotton pads that don't release any fibers into the liquid. Catheterization of a man. Gently pull back the foreskin so you can easily access to clean around the urethral opening. Remember that this hand is not sterile anymore after touching the patient. Carefully clean the area to avoid any hairs, textile fibers or other particles to enter with a new catheter. Anesthetize the urethra by completely filling it with anesthetic catheter gel. Use 1 gram gel per centimeter urethra 
meaning that for a man you need approximately 20 to 30 gram. After filling approximately half of the amount of gel, wait for one minute so the external sphincter muscle is relaxed. Then fill the remaining amount of gel and let it work a little while before inserting the catheter. Using your sterile hand, insert the catheter gently. It shouldn't hurt. When you feel some resistance, the catheter has likely reached the external sphincter muscle. Be extra careful at this point. Insert the catheter all the way until the funnel junction. Get some urine in exchange before you fill the catheter balloon with a fluid and precise amount that the catheter producer recommends. Remember to constantly observe the patient, also this step shouldn't hurt. After you have completed this procedure, make sure that the catheter is positioned correctly and can move freely. Finally attach a urinary bag or a valve.